Shivalak, one of the most active volcanoes in Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula, erupted on Thursday evening, spewing clouds of ash as high as 15 kilometers into the sky and covering broad areas with dust. The ash cloud extended over 250 kilometers to the east and engulfed several villages in gray volcanic dust, officials said. The Institute of Volcanology and Seismology of the Far Eastern Branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences has declared the highest danger level for aviation, Russian news agencies reported. Local authorities advised residents to stay indoor and temporary closed schools in several affected communities. A road between Klyochi and USD Kamchatsk was also closed overnight. Shivaluk has two parts, the 3,283-meter-old Shivaluk, and the smaller, highly active young Shivaluk. The Kamchatka Peninsula, which extends into the Pacific Ocean about 6,600 kilometers east of Moscow, is one of the world's most concentrated areas of geothermal activity, with about 30 active volcanoes. Наблюдается визуальное выпадение в поселке Усть-Камчатск вулканического пепла. Незначительно припорошило снег. Усть-Камчатский район поддерживал негативного воздействия вдруг об Усть-Камчатске. При этом в целях надлежащего контроля за ситуацией ближе к полудню наблюдается после его посредства в поселке Усть-Камчатск и на распространение пеплового шлейфа происходит таким образом, что основная его часть уходит в залив, минуя населенные пункты. Все необходимые запасы на территории каждого из населенных пунктов района имеются. Ситуацию мы на постоянном контроле держим. Индонезия's Mount Liwatobi Laki Laki erupted again for the second time Thursday spewing a column of hot clouds that rose 8,000 meters from its peak, three days after a midnight eruption killed nine people and injured dozens of others. There was no immediate report of casualties from the latest eruption. The 1,584-meter volcano on Indonesia's remote island of Flores unleashed clouds of gray hot ash Thursday. The mixture of rock, lava and gas was thrown up to one kilometer from its crater, Indonesia's Center for Volcanology and Disaster Mitigation said in a statement. The volcano lulled in activity since Monday's deadly eruption killed nine people and injured 64 others. Monday's eruption affected more than 10,000 people in 10 villages. About 4,400 villagers moved into makeshift emergency shelters after the eruption, which destroyed seven schools, nearly two dozen houses and a convent on the majority Catholic island. The country's volcano monitoring agency increased Liwatobi Laki Laki's alert status to the highest level and more than doubled the exclusion zone to a 7 km radius since then, prohibiting any activity in that area. Authorities warned the thousands of people who fled not to return home, as the government planned to move about 16,000 residents out of the danger zone, said National Disaster Management Agency head Suharianto, who like many Indonesians uses a single name. Permanent relocation is considered as a long-term mitigation measure to anticipate eruption in the future, Suharianto told reporters after visiting the devastated areas Thursday. Liwatobi Laki Laki is one of a pair of stratovolcanoes in the East Flores district of East Nusa Tenggara province, known locally as the Husband and Wife Mountains. Laki Laki means man, while its mate is Liwatobi Perempuan, or woman.
siap, siap, siap. Kita buka nih, sudah turun ke bawah itu. Ya, itu awan panas tadi. Tadi kan dia lari ke sana, tadi dulu pali tadi. Sudah bersih sekali, pindah. Pulang-pulang, pulang-pulang saja, pulang-pulang. Pulang kita siang. Ini pasir, pokoknya hujan, hujan pasir Hujan pasir Jadi masih banyak yang belum dievakuasi Mama Kan tidak bisa bawa 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 berat karena menyangkut pokok Oh